Hello and welcome to Hacks, where we're currently going through the Burp Suite Certified Practitioner uh, Labs on Portswigger Web Security Academy. So we're looking at SQL injections and we need to perform an SQL union injection attack to determine the number of columns returned by the query. This lab contains an SQL injection vulnerability in the product category filter. The results from the query are returned in the application responses so you can use a union attack to retrieve the data from the other tables. The first step of such an attack is to determine the number of columns that are returned by the query. You will then use this technique in subsequent labs to construct the full attack. To solve this lab, determine the number of columns returned by the query using an SQL injection union attack that returns the additional row. The solution is there. Um, probably should have hit that. But if we go ahead and access the lab in a new tab and wait for it to load, you'll see I've already completed it, but we have a table being returned and we've got various different functionalities. Um, I got this one wrong at the start. I was putting the SQL injection in too soon and I was wondering why it wasn't working. But if we head over to uh, burp and turn our intercept on, then head back and click accessories, for example, we'll get a response and in it, you can see that it's applying the filter category equals accessories. Now, what I like to do in order to test multiple payloads to build up an attack is I send it to repeater. So in repeater, I'll just have the request there and then I will put in the syntax. So it's to escape that union plus select null, whoops. And then hyphen hyphen and if we send that we'll get an error message but if we put a comma and then comment out again and send that we get an error message if we do it one more time we get a response to say that the sort of attack worked which suggests there's three columns in the type of attack and now that we have the payload as well this doesn't really make sense to do it because it's already completed and submitted the lab. But if we head back to the proxy, we can append that onto the query, forward it through and all the subsequent requests and that will complete the lab. And that's it. Kind regards.